Jay. Yo. Stephen Coolboy Fulton. Mm -hmm. Noe, the monster. Anyway, this might be, I don't want to disrespect anybody. Yeah. This might be the biggest fight of the year, yo. Yeah. Two I dudes in the prime. Yeah. Um, I, I got cool boy in uh in my pound for pound and fucking Inouye's in my top three. Yeah. I mean it's a it's a rude awakening for anyway. Anyway can fight, but it's a big leap. And it's a big leap because not because of the weight class, because it's only one weight class up, but it's just like the best win is Donair. And what I mean by that Donair is a great fighter, don't get it fucked up. But Donair is 60 plus fights in and past his prime. Hmm. You talking about cool boy in his prime, and that's all he do is beat motherfuckers up that's in their prime. That's all he do, that's what he get high off. He get high off fighting great fighters, or supposedly great fighters and beating them. Undefeated fighters, that's what hmm. he love to do. Anyway, it's like, it has been spoiled for a while, and he is going to continue to get spoiled because he the biggest thing in Japan since Nagano Olympics, probably. Hmm. You know I mean, I don't know. Um, great fighter, he got some great instincts, but Cool Boy come with a different like set of skills, and it's like different mentality. Like you know what I'm saying, I don't think anyway really gonna be able to do exactly what he want to do to Cool Boy. Like, like, like if we be real, is he gonna try to box him? Like, really? How you gonna do that? Is you that good of a? Is he that good of a boxer? Like, that's, do we really know that? We don't know that. Only way you get tested that way is to go in there with another boxer. You know what I mean? This would be his first time. Is he going to just out fight him? How we know that? We talking about Cool Boy that went to war with Figueroa. When they thought Figueroa was going to slump Cool Boy. Big dude. And, cool, and Figueroa is a big motherfucker. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I like this fight. I love this fight. But I think Cool Boy going to just wear him out. I think he's going to wear him out. I think it's going to go the distance, but he's going to wear him out. What does it say about the mindset of both guys? Inui becoming undisputed, moving up, yeah. and fighting who's the guy who's considered the best guy in that class. No disrespect to MJ, yeah. but Cool Boys face nine undefeated fighter. Nine, he's not a no against undefeated fighters four or five straight. Yeah. That Inui jumps up and was like, "No, nah, I want him." Yeah. And that that Cool Boy looking at it as you know a guy who's struggling making one twenty two was like, "Nah, I ain't leaving." He want the smoke. Yeah. You know, he's considered the top guy. Okay, yeah. we'll give him to me. Well, the, the, the mindset for us, anyway, anyway, once he, he wants to be great, and he's being told that he is great, and he believed that he great, but they lying to him when it comes to this fight. Uh, cool boy is just handling it like a Philadelphian would handle it. That's what y'all got. Let's get it. That's Philadelphia. People like to get mad at us for talking about Philly. Y'all oh, always saying, we from Philly. Like, we proud of, how come nobody get mad at New Yorkers when they go off about being from New York? <laughs> First of all, shout out to the Eagles. They bust that ass. But, you know We mean? did. It's <laughs> like, no, but, yeah, no, not psych, no, yeah, but, they wait, did. I'm, I'm, I'm about to troll real hey, fast. Yo. How about them Cowboys <laughs> for everybody in Dallas? Hey, Fuck out of here. And, and guess what? Y'all stink. And I'm a Buffalo Bills fan. Yeah. My squad lost, but I'm still from Philly. <laughs> so whenever Buffalo lose, I'm with the Eagles for sure. You know what I mean? But it's like, that's who we are, man. We, we accept all challenges. So Cool Boy just doing what he do. To Cool Boy, the, I think the best thing, I mean, the, 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 the one thing about this fight that's going to excite Cool Boy is being the goal. Is, is, is being able to go over there and do it. Mm. I think that's the part that's going to excite him. It ain't even the fight. It's just going over there and doing it. Like, I'm going to beat you up in your hood. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I want my boy to be careful, too, because, you know, they might not take that take that too light because that's their favorite guy right now. You know what I mean? What is, boxing-wise, what are some of the dangers that facing in the weed? Um, what are some of the dangers that, that, that come to life in the ring? You can't, well, well, anyway, you can't look for too much. When you look for too much, he, he, there for, he there for your mistakes. So if you try to jump at him, if you try to approach him like he's not skillful, he go, he'll get you. If you try to take him light like he won't jump on you, he'll get you. So what I'm basically saying is you have to be alert at all times with NUA. You know what I mean? But you can't get sucked into his traps. I mean, he do set traps. He do like for you to follow him around a little bit or see if you're going to stand. He try to get you to see if he can stand, get you to stand in front of him, you know what I mean, so he can unload. But, you know what I mean, you got to play, play them mind games with him all night. You got to keep your chest with him. Even when it's a war, you got to keep your chest because he's so confident in his, in his ability that he barely blink. And when he turn this shit over, he mean it. Like, he, he fully commits with his punches. I can't say that. Is the winner of this fight 
guaranteed pound for pound number one? I mean, I don't really, again, like I said, I don't fuck with that pound for pound shit because they ain't so weird with it, but you definitely top two in the world. You top two. Yeah, I can say that. Cool boy, but we already know cool boy gonna win. He gonna beat him up. For 12 rounds, after about the fourth round, he gonna start whooping him. He gonna, cause, cause, cause anyway, gonna have to fight him. He can't outbox him, so he gonna have to fight him. And I'm not saying he can't outbox him because it got something to do with being black and all. No, he just not the better boxer. He, he, and the reason I know that, anyway, he's never had to really test that. He, a lot of the guys he fought, they was there for the beat. Cool boy gonna be, you know what I mean, a little bit of everywhere, like he do. And anyway, not gonna be able to understand it. It's gonna, it's gonna be tough on him, trust me. Cool boy gonna whoop him. He gonna whoop him. But I don't think Cool boy gonna knock him out. I'm not saying he can't. I don't think he gonna knock him out, though. I think he just gonna beat him up. It's gonna be a good little punch on John. Like when somebody do something to your sister and you're like, oh, I owe you that. I'm gonna get you beaten when I see you. Don't try to run from me. Like when I see you, you know what it is. It's gonna be, it's gonna be one of them Jones. I'm gonna punch on you. Yeah, I can't wait. That's gonna be a great fight. Are you surprised that it was next? Because all signs pointed that it was it was looking like it was gonna be Bernie Figueroa, then maybe in the way after that. I am I am surprised because cool boy, I know for a fact he like twenty two is like he like bored. But he not bored because he got a new challenge. So it's like, all right, I mean, I'll stay down there for him. Come on. Mm. You know what I mean? So I'm not surprised, but I am surprised. Like it's a 50 50 on how I feel about it. But I'm glad uh, another big fight is being made. This is a big fight. It's a great fight. As far as like paydays go, yeah. um, Inouye's the biggest draw over there. Yeah. And then you got, um, what's the kid named? The middleweight. Uh, Real to Murata. Okay. Right? It's seeming like, you know, you know, boxing in Japan, going over to Japan, you know, puts a, you know, some extra cheese on your taco. Yeah. You think we're going to see more guys go over there looking for paydays and looking for yeah, big I fights? Mean, I mean, it, it happens sometimes. Sometimes, if you look at back in the day, Don King, he made sure fights happen all over the world. So mm -hmm. sometimes that's the way to do it. That's where the money be. You know what I mean? Because they don't, they don't get it as often as we do, so they're going to pay for it. And they're going to make sure these things happen. But I think that's also a part of calling yourself world champion. You got to fight around the world. You know what I mean? Just fighting in America for Americans get boring. You know what I mean? So the same way the Russians, Ukrainians, and the Cubans, they want to get over here. Our guys want to, you know what I mean, move around and check it out, see what's going on. And it, it's good to open up a new fan base. You know what I'm saying? Cool Boy might become something big over there, the way Mike Tyson did. You never know. Yo, they had fucking Cool Boy and Inouye on the front page of the paper. Bro. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, damn. Yeah, <laughs> That's and, a big and he's a Philadelphia kid, so, yeah. you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm definitely hyped for this fight. I'm excited for him, and I know he's going to take care of business. Sure.